time. Although, I don't know, it might have shut itself off. I don't know. It was recording when I put it down there. Okay. All right. So if you're home, either welcome back or we've already done all this. So, uh, I'll be like, okay. <laughs> By the way, if you guys know, I, I spoil a little bit. How many of your teachers post lectures on YouTube? That's so true. Okay. Well, you're so. a math teacher, you have to. <laughs> what? That's <laughs> If we change our n in the question above <laughs> to the 319, would it do anything significant? Oh, if we redid this problem and put 319? Yeah. I know exactly what would be here. Okay. 0.5. 0.5? Yeah. So I can just, I, I just go right past all this shit. Yeah. I see. Okay. Does that make sense? I need you to understand. Error, uh, sample of 37 will lead to an error of 1.47 for this problem. A sample of 319 will lead to an error of 0.5. Now, it would actually be about 0.4 something because we, we rounded up a little bit, but it's within 0.5. Okay. Yeah. For the next question, the confidence interval of 90, which is less confident than 90. Okay, all right, hold on, let's get there. So, would the 90% confidence interval be smaller or larger than, and I should have made this 97, that's my fault. So, would a 90% confidence interval be smaller or larger than the 97% we did? Larger. It's smaller. To be 90% confident, do I have to catch more stuff or less stuff than 97%? Yes. I catch less stuff. So, of course, right here, less stuff I catch. My net gets smaller. The interval gets smaller. So now you guys do this. I don't understand what the, <laughs> the look is I'm getting. You're going to have to do this yourself anyway. So, yeah, good. I just remembered, what's the... 